In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to outline text in Adobe InDesign. We're going to look at two different things, how to create outlines and then how to actually have outlined text. It's two different things, but it means the same thing. So it's hard to tell what you're here for. The first one, let's create outlines. So make an outline effect. I have text. I can highlight my text and I can look at the fill. Right now it's black, so I just have black text. Well, let's get rid of that fill. I'm gonna click on it and go to none. So now we have no fill, but we can add a stroke. So if we add, let's say a five point stroke on this and press enter, now we have outlined text just like that. Five points was too much, so I'm gonna add three instead. And then we can look at our stroke options. So there's a couple options here. We can adjust the weight, but we can also adjust the corners. So depending on what kind of corner effect you want, if you want it to be sharp, that's fine. You could also round the corners and you could also uh, have them be beveled. I didn't know the term, but they're like at an angle, right? So you could round or have them sharp pretty much. The align stroke option, when it's editable text, you can't make an adjustment here. Even though you can click on this, it doesn't matter. It doesn't change where that outline is. I'll show you how to do that, but it won't be with editable text. And like I said, this text, you can still edit. And you can actually type and make edits with this text edit this text. Um, does anyone see an issue? I do. So this text, at least with this font, overlaps itself. Now let's see if we can make an adjustment to remedy that. I think if we add a fill to this, it should get rid of it. So if I know the paper color, like I'm writing on white, then I'm going to add a fill of white or my paper color. Once I do that, that fills in those gaps. So that's a helpful way to get rid of those little overlaps in your text. So that's how to work with editable text and outline it, like create an outline effect. What if you wanted to outline your text, like turn text into shapes? Let's bring some more text out here. I'm gonna change it really quick and probably just edit through this so it's really fast for you guys. So we're back to just having some text out here. We can actually go up to type down to create outlines. What that does is creates shapes out of your text. Now this is one compound shape that we could remove the fill on just like we did before and we could add a stroke to. So we could add a three point stroke. Then we have a pretty similar result as we had before, but this time we can align that stroke to the inside, the outside, or the center. So if you wanted to align the stroke to the outside, you, you can do that and then adjust your joins and your corners, et cetera. But if you were just looking to outline your text, like turning text into shapes, maybe you used a font that the printer doesn't have and they needed you to create outlines, that's how to create those outlines and turn your font into just shapes here in your document that nobody else would need to have that font to be able to access and view. So while you work with this, you might notice that there's there's some finicky things. There's a few maybe glitchy things depending on the text that you're using, but that's quick and easy way to outline your text and also create outlines in Adobe InDesign.